Hey, Josh Masters here again with Masters Fencing. I'm going to take you for a walkthrough of a four foot tall TNG privacy fence. I've got my customer here with me. Uh, they wanted a can hide here for the front portion, and so because of all the wires and pipes, I, I uh, suggested to go ahead and use the brackets here at the bottom uh, for those posts. And they're nice, heavy duty. They uh, they drill into the concrete with a five-eighths thick uh, screw. It's coming full length of the sidewalk across there. Got a good space to hide the trash can perfectly. Came out, came out really nice. It's nice and secure there. Nice and stable. And then uh, this was a neighbor's fence, and this is uh, the master's fence. We uh, we use the adjustable hinges here. So I can control that gap. Plus, it, it gets a, a, a tighter lock. I like the way that they operate. You can put a, a, a padlock right here and lock it up. Just lift it up and pull out and open. It's real simple. And we're coming over on the side here. All right. Coming on through to the back line. This install turned out really nice. I'm happy with the details. Uh, the way that it flows. It's perfect if you don't have a dog, dog that likes to jump really high. I installed what's called following the flow of the property. Here on the back line, I stayed nice and uh, straight across the top in accordance with the way the property flows. I tried to make the top of that fence line match the way that the property is. So as you see right there, there's kind of a hump in the middle and it has a slight slope back down. Then it straightens it out all the way through here. Uh, we use about 20 to 30 pounds in each post. Pack it down really tight. Make sure it's gonna sit up nice and firm. We set high, set above height. So beforehand, it looked like a roller coaster up and down. And I come back with what's called a block. It looks like a cap like this. And then I hit it with a sledgehammer to be able and get the exact height that my customer wants. So if you want it on the ground, we can put it there. If you'd like an inch, two, few inches so that you can get a weed eater under there and keep it looking nice and trim, we can do that as well. Here we also have an access gate for the back line. The same type. Push it open just like that. And here we have the back line sloping back down at an angle. And through there. Um, each rail's got tabs that stick out and that go into place. That hold it in place inside the holes. Following around the property here. He didn't need the entire distance of it, so he um, just kind of encircled it around, gave it some detail here. Coming on back up through the front, and I got the French Gothic caps there on the five foot gate. And from myself and everybody here at Masters Fencing, thanks for installing with us.